Comedian Mike Marino has acted in everything from soap operas to soap commercials. He's also been a regular on The Tonight Show, was featured on The Martin Short Show, and has done stand-up at every big club in New York, Los Angeles, the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Mike Marino, welcome to The Bob Rivers Show. Hello. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me in the box this, this morning. Is this is great. First time in Seattle. I've never seen the needle. I'm going today. Going to the Space Needle? I'm going to go to the Space Needle, and I'm going to go back down to the uh, Pikes that? Peak. Pikes Peak, yes. Pikes Peak. <laughs> really? I went, I went there yesterday. I saw the old Starbucks. Nice. Did I didn't know people it was come the here to see the original Starbucks? I didn't know. Yeah. I was wondering, why was everyone taking a picture of the Starbucks? And then they had paintings you could buy of Starbucks. And I'm saying to myself, you know, I think I'll take a picture of Seattle's best. That's it. She's got pikes know. in New Jersey now, too. Turnpikes. <laughs> yeah, the turnpike. What a, and clearly you have a New Jersey ac accent. What exit are you? I don't think I do. I've been living in California over two, three years. I tend two, to Two, three years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're out of your state, you lose your accent a little bit. Yeah, if I close my eyes, I couldn't even tell you were white. I'd yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> so, uh, exit 135, I'm guessing. Actually, 135, technically on the parkway, is where I was from. But before that, it was uh, exit 14C off the turnpike, which would be Jersey City, New Jersey, Jesus. where the strongest accent in New Jersey comes from. And that's where everybody likes to make fun of the Jerseyites. They say, oh, it stinks over there, the refinery. Well, that's Jersey City. But when you go south towards like Bre uh, Bruce Springsteen country, Freehold, yeah. you start getting these gigantic houses on the Jersey Shore. Sure. That's, that's where you? Tony Soprano lives, right? In that beautiful neighborhood, well, the, the <laughs> cul-de-sac. <laughs> Nice woods, sack, right? woods nearby that you can do, you Dump can kill body, somebody in. Knock off Adriana. You hey, know. I'll tell you right now, if we had Tony Soprano running the country, we might be having a little bit more fun, <laughs> <laughs> right? Why not a wise guy president? Why not? If we, I tell people all the time, think about it. If we didn't have the type of presidents we had, we had a mob boss running the country, a real mob boss. Who would mess with America? Who would mess with America? Would. War in Afghanistan be over tomorrow. You wouldn't know how, but it'd be over. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'd ask our president in the news, okay, you ended the war in Baghdad, Mr. President. How'd you do it? He'd go, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you just go enjoy the gas prices at 32 cents a gallon now, okay? Don't, okay. Say, don't forget to say thank you with a little taste for me. I mean, right. the, new president, oh, yeah. the new president of Pakistan, Bobby Bakla. But Bobby, give a few words to the crowd. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't want to talk too he's much, new, boss. He's the new captain precinct in, <laughs> in Afghanistan. That would be very funny. Hey, what did awesome. I tell you? What did I tell you? <laughs> don't ever call me boss. I'm president. It's different. I'm president now. Don't you ever call me boss. Especially uh, when the press is here. Everybody pay their income tax, that's for sure. You wouldn't want to mess with that. Yeah, you but they might get a discount. <laughs> you wouldn't be seeing Monica Lewinsky on HBO selling handbags. She'd be on a milk carton. Right. Everybody see my guma? No, you haven't. And you won't. Guma, right? You won't. Do they you understand won't. that in Seattle? Right. You bet. <laughs> That actually might be the question then. They bring him up on charges. Hey, did you fool around with Monica Lewinsky? He'd be like, yeah, she works here, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's this got to do with you? What's well, yeah. This is none of your business. <laughs> I can't believe you have the nerve to even ask right, me. You know what it is? I think you're jealous. <laughs> I think you're jealous. This is business and you're taking it personally. <laughs> Whole new routine. Write that down. Wow. Do you like any of the potential replacements since Tony's not available? Well, I like Obama. You do? I think he'd be the, the the guy for the job. Hopefully, he'll pull it off. Plus, I guess Springsteen just endorsed him. He did. Bruce came out this week. That's right. So, we might as well give it up. He's going to win. If the boss says so. <laughs> I, I <was laughs> they're going to persuade a lot of voters, I think. I was thinking, you know, Bruce, is, is he a working man or is, is he make you more of an elitist now? If you get an endorsement from Bruce Springsteen, who's, you know, an independently wealthy Recording artist, is that... He's showbiz now. Yeah, he's Hollywood. He used to be really uh, the struggle. But he's, he sings about the struggle of the working man. He sings about all... The, look at Spike. Look at Spike's face. Yeah, Spike, you love Bruce, huh? Uh, I, I, it's been often said on this channel that if Bruce wanted to just try gay, I'd be his... I'd go for him. Right, I would right. take one for the, from the team. Yeah, for well, the team. I can't go with you on that. I, know, I, <laughs> Bruce is I like a, the boss, but yeah. he's not going to be my boss. You know he, what I mean? He hated <laughs> Hollywood. You guys, he tried Hollywood. He bagged on it. That's he went right. Back to, Back to New back Jersey, to Jersey, married a Jersey girl, raising right. Jersey kids and a Jersey. In fact, property. his first wife was a model. She yeah. was the whole Hollywood trip, and, and, it, and it didn't work for him. Didn't work. Yeah. Uh, you are here. Uh, you have been to the original Starbucks. You've made it known that uh, if uh, if a gorgeous Seattleite wants to meet you, she should come to the show. When is the show? The show tonight. is tonight. Tonight and tonight only. It's a special performance at the Main Stage Comedy and Music Club, and. In your resume, in your uh, biography, uh, you've been on the Tonight Show a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. Ever with Johnny? No, uh -uh. just Jay. 
I came in after the, the Johnny era. I actually am a sketch comic player. You know, when I do sketch comedy on The Tonight Show, I've been on The Tonight Show for over eight years. Oh. So sometimes if you see a, a goofy sketch, uh, they tape it in the morning and it airs that night. Could be like a couple of cops. Uh, oh, yeah, whatever, I recognize you now. Kind of a goofy little yeah. situation. But a lot of the times they do live skits and they'll put a plant in the audience and the audience will set Jay up for a joke and then that plant will actually be the brunt of the joke. But a lot of times it's actually me. They just put me in a different chair. You're not supposed to know. <laughs> do, they, do they make up or wig you or make you look sometimes different? Sometimes they make, yeah. you know, The last sketch we just did was with me, Howie Mandel, and Jay Leno. And the setup was Howie Mandel read in a book that Liberace really dressed this weird. And who would ever dress that weird in America these days? Boom, camera So goes. I stand up in the audience and I go, excuse me. Right. I'm a little offended by your comments. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm dressed like Liberace in shorts, Sweet. tights, and a big wig. Sweet. Oh, that's great. So sometimes the jokes go and sometimes they don't. If it falls flat, you know, they go to commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of times, funny enough, it's me because Jay at one time would tell the casting director, make sure it's Marino because if it's not funny, we'll make it funny somehow. Well, and that's the thing. You've got that deadpan. You've got right. that ability to stand there and go... Oh, uh, well, I'll just take the check. <laughs> I'll just take the check. <laughs> take the check. National television. Thanks, Jay. Good now, night. Now, you're in New Jersey, but you're living in California. Yeah, I'm in Tell California. me about where you live. What sort of a neighborhood? What sort of a situation? I, I, live, I mean, I live, uh, Jay Leno likes to tell the story that when he moved to Hollywood, he like lived in the back of a car for a while. He probably did. Yeah. Um, I don't live in a car. i got a nice apartment. Just in case the girls li listen. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't want the, I don't want them to think I'm still in that car. You know nice. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I live in North Hollywood, and in California, they call it NoHo, the NoHo Arts District, which really doesn't mean much. I'm just letting you know. I think they copied SoHo. We yeah. got a SoHo, or SoDo here, and SoHo's in New York. Yeah. SoDo. Yeah. Well, North Hollywood area, which is uh, centrally located to all the places I need to be, like the Laugh Factory in Hollywood, Damn. the Comedy Store, unless Burbank Airport to get me out of town. As a single man in NoHo, does it? As advertised, is it hard to find a professional escort lover for money in NoHo? Oh uh, no, I hang out in Vegas for, oh, for you, what you're talking about. You go. It's <laughs> a little bit easier. It's not. A, that's not a problem. They lie to you in Vegas. You know that, right? <laughs> Do they? Yeah. What, what mean? happens oh. in Vegas stays in Vegas is a lie. It is. Yeah, because I had sex with some girl and I told everybody I know. <laughs> I bragged about it. I spread the rumors. Didn't stay in Vegas no, at all. No. I don't wait to take it home. <laughs> in fact, I don't even know if it happened, but I made it up. <laughs> you hate the weather here, don't you? Well, I wouldn't say I hate it, but it is kind of chilly. It's rainy. It was 85 when I left California. Sun was out. It was getting a sore throat. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's the it, love? Yeah. It was 80 here last Saturday. It's In the shade? <laughs> it, well, yeah, it's, 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 it's unseasonably cold right now. I like looking up and saying, there's the needle, I think. I think. <laughs> there's clouds around it. Last question. Take your time. Why never married? Never, ever. Ever consider it? You know, it's funny. Do you have you a, philosophy? a date with somebody new? Yeah. And, and they, they say, say that you, same question. I'm sure. How come you've never been married? Well, to look at a guy like you and say, well, you probably have plenty of opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've had plenty of opportunities to be robbed, but I didn't take it. <laughs> <laughs> See, sure, I, yeah. I, I yeah. think dating for a man. Why not mugged? <laughs> dating for a man should be a tax deduction and a write off. You take a girl out to dinner, you don't get any sex, you declare a loss at the end of the year. <laughs> Now, why is that not a reality? You can write off gambling. Why not? Because that's take, what you're doing, basically. It's a gamble. Yeah. It is a gamble. You have a choice. Take a girl out to dinner, buy something to eat, or buy a new shirt for $75. <laughs> the shirt will stay with you forever. The girl might not want to go out with you ever again. <laughs> what do you think of this shirt? Nice shirt. Nice there shirt. you go. <laughs> there you go. Good investment. <laughs> 720. Mike Marino performs tonight at the Main Stage Comedy and Music Club. Very nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you guys. Information on the website, bobrivers.com.